The train is coming, man. The train is coming soon. Jesus is on his way. And some of y'all are playing around with God because you're like, man, I don't see no headlight. They've been saying Jesus is coming for 2,000 years. Man, I got time to fornicate. I got time to commit a little adultery. I don't got to get right with God today. I can go to church next week. I can start reading my Bible next week. I can start having a relationship with God next week because they say he's coming. But I don't see no headlights. And what's crazy, man, is God gives us plenty of signs. You see these signs over here? They're all over the place. You look at the news, you look at what's going on in the Middle East, what's going on with like Bruce Jenner, what's going on with homosexuality and the marriages. All this stuff is in the Bible about man being lovers of themselves, wars and rumors of war, even the hurricanes in uh, Mexico, all the stuff going on with the weather. There's signs all over the place. And Jesus is warning you. He, he doesn't tell you exactly when the train is coming because, you know, if everybody knew that, then they do whatever they want to do. And then they'll come run down to the train station and be like, all right, I'm ready because the train's coming now. No, God wants you to serve him. He didn't make us robots. He gave us free will. He gave us a choice. And because some of you, you don't see no headlights out there. You're like, man, I got a little time to dip off and do me. I'll go to church next week. I'll repent next week. I'll break off that relationship he's telling me next week. I'll stop committing fornication next week. I'll get serious about God next week. And what's going to happen, man, is you're going to be over here dipping off around, playing around, and the train's going to come and you're going to miss it.